Hi everyone, today I'm opening the January 2021 Art Snacks Plus box. I'm so glad it came in on time this time. And the surface that came in the box is by Legion. It's a Legion Bamboo. It's an Art Snacks exclusive. It has 15 sheets. 265 GSM, so it's pretty thick. It's good for pen and ink, pastel, calligraphy, printmaking, acid free bamboo, and 90% bamboo and 10% cotton. Interesting. I don't know if it's a new paper, I never heard of this one before. Oh, it has a very nice texture. It's like a vellum. That's interesting. Can't wait to try it. So in the box, we also have, so this probably will be for the Art Snacks Plus box. A third one of these. <laughs> That's the third time I get one from an Art Snacks box. Um, Granted, I think uh, once uh, it might have been a, uh, a different nib. It's still pretty. We've got the Shinhan Touch Liners. It's a pack of five and it comes with a 010305, a brush and a chisel. Oh yeah, right there. And they're cool grays. Nice! Tessie, that's a nice change. You kind of think, oh, more liners. But when it's in a different color, that's kind of neat. All right, so my guess is this is what comes with the Art Snacks Plus box. Actually, no, this comes with the Art Snacks box. So these two comes with the Art Snacks Plus box. And this is part of the regular Art Snacks box, along with a lollipop. A pretty sticker, a Marvy Le Pen Flex, looks like it's in pink, dusty pink. Oh my gosh, it's so, so tiny. Then we have a uh, Karen Deco brush, metallic permanent marker, and it's in metal green. And a zebra, that's funny, it just looks like my favorite pen, which is a Pantel. Oh my gosh, it's just the same color. For years I've been using this pen a little gel pen with a very fine tip just to regular write notes and things like that i just love it and this looks just like it that's that's really weird except it's not a pantel it's a zebra and it's a mechanical pencil in um, the, uh, 0 0.7 And maybe I can get the lead to come out at some point. Maybe. Am I missing something? Well, I'll work on it. So I'm going to test out all the supplies here. And see what, what I can do with them. And actually, it looks like I might actually be able this time to use these on this paper. 
I was able to fix the problem I had with the zebra mechanical pencil. I removed the cap and then the eraser at the end of it and then removed the extra leads that were inside. Then I uh, put everything back together and clicked it and then the lead finally came out. I think maybe they were all stuck together in there. Uh, so it worked just fine. It's a 07 so it's a little wide but it works well. It's just a regular mechanical pencil. I didn't use the Kuretake Bimoji pen that came in the box. I used one that I already had that came in the previous box instead and it also works well on the paper. It's a little bit dry but I think maybe that's because I haven't used it in a while. But it worked well enough. The Marvi pen is really cute. It's a lovely pink and super tiny but it works great. Also the Kuretake pen is water resistant. I think depending on the paper it might end up being uh, waterproof. The Karen marker is really nice. The brush is lovely but the color kind of disappears uh, or maybe I don't know if it sinks into the, the paper or something so it kind of makes it dull. Again I don't know if it's because of the paper but the brush is really really nice and squishy. Now for the Shinhan touch liners they're really cool. They are waterproof and they are also alcohol marker proof which is really neat. I like that gray and I'm glad that we have a set of, of gray rather than another boring set of black. I mean I'm not saying they're boring but we receive fine liners quite often so when it's a different color it's really cool. I also like the selection of tips. There's a 01 that's very very fine and a 03, a 05, a chisel and a brush. The brush is lovely. I think I use all of them except the chisel tip for my drawing. And as far as the paper is concerned it's, it's really nice. I love the feel of it. It really feels like cotton but there's one side that has more grain than the other one and that is the reason why I tried the supplies on both sides and these particular supplies seem to be working better on the smooth side of the paper. So I cut a piece of that paper for my challenge and I flipped it over decided to draw on the smooth side. I didn't really know what to draw and I didn't have much time either but since I hadn't drawn a portrait in a while I thought I'd try that and I would practice my hatching which as you all know I'm not very good at but I'm determined to get better so that's why I'm practicing. I noticed that when I use finer tips the result is better so I started with the finest tip the 01. And it's funny because um, that first layer kind of looks like I was working with a with a graphite pencil just because of the color. What is neat with this also is that you can actually build the values with this gray. If you add more layers it gets darker. You can't really do that as much with a black fine liner I think. So that was pretty neat. I was pretty happy with the face for a while and then of course I had to start overworking it and then using the brush pen kind of ruined some areas like around the nose and uh, so that's okay it's just a practice piece just a quick drawing to get more familiar with the supplies. I enjoyed uh, using the Karen brush pen as well as the Kuretake black pen together for the hair I thought that was fun. But I wish the uh, metallic marker was a little shinier or that the color would stand out a little bit more. I didn't really know what to do with the uh, Marvi pen so uh, since it's pink I just used it for the hatching in the lips. But maybe at some point I'll just do a drawing just with hatches uh, with that pink pen and see what happens. I'm not quite sure what to do with this color that's the problem but it's a lovely pen. Maybe I could have used it diluted and add a little blush to the to the cheeks but it, it, it would have been a very very light pink so I don't know if it would have stood out at all. All in all it was a fun little sketch to do with the supplies. The, all the supplies are really nice. I can't wait to test the paper a bit more and work with those Shinhan liners. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you liked this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please consider subscribing to this channel. Have a wonderful day everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.